Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Baghdad Adventures. I'm headed into the mangroves. And today I'm gonna see if I can find a mud crab. So I'm gonna find the best spot. Throw my traps in and hopefully we can come up with a muddy. Alright guys, here's a nice muddy creek outlet. So there's another little creek over there. I might head over that way. As you can see, today is quite windy. So here looks like a nice spot to put a trap. Nice little mallet. Chop him in two. Slice him open a bit. Create a little hole for the cable tie. So it secures him inside the trap. Right hey guys, time to throw the trap in the water. There she goes. Alright hey guys, the first trap's down, see how we go on that one, gonna head down the creek a little bit more now, I'm gonna throw a second trap in. Sort of spread my options out a little bit, because I don't think there's a lot of mud crabs around at the moment, as it's winter they all go down deep into the mud, so I want the best chance possible of catching one, so I'll spread my two traps out as far as possible. See how we go. See he's down the creek. Always look under logs around the mangroves. Never know where big muddy's gonna be hiding. Guys, one thing you should never do when you're out mud crabbing. get stuck I don't think I'll go that way looks like it's been something working their way through here through the mud guys could be a kangaroo could be something else get a few kangaroos living in the mangroves here Bit of shade for them during those hot days. Once again, guys, I am stuck. <laughs> I don't know if the gum is helping or making it worse. <laughs> That's mud crabbing for ya. Alright guys, I found the next spot to throw a trap. I actually forgot my GoPro head mount. So it's a little bit hard to show you guys exactly what I'm doing here. <clears throat> I 
I should do. I can see a really big rock out here covered in oysters. So I might walk out to that, have a bit of a wash. I've actually got an oyster knife in my bag, luckily. So I might head out and see if I can get a couple of oysters off, have a bit of brekkie while I'm out here. Could be a good spot to wash all the mud off me and have a feed. Got a little seed here. What a beautiful spot to have a couple of oysters for breakfast. After throwing the mud crab traps in. Open up a couple of oysters. Look at that. Hard to beat. Mm. Look at that. Nice big oyster straight off the rock. Bloody delicious. Righto guys, I've had me half a dozen oysters on this glorious day. The traps are set. Come back later and check and we'll see how we've done. Okay, the traps are down. I'm gonna leave them overnight. That's probably the best chance you have of getting one. Usually they come out overnight. They'll dig themselves out from the mud and go looking for a feed. Because they're in hibernation at the moment, there's a big chance I won't catch any mud crabs, but you're not going to get them at home from your lounge room, so you may as well be out there still having a go. So hopefully, a few mud crabs tonight, smell the bait, come out from the mud to grab a feed and we end up getting one. Be really good tomorrow if we do to cook on up for you guys and show you something different. Alright guys, I'll see you in the morning. I'm back out in the mangroves. It's a new day. Time to check and see if we have any mates. Right, uh, here's our first trap. And we have a muddy. Doesn't look like a big muddy, but we have a muddy. Two little mud crabs there, guys. As I said, not massive. One's definitely a keeper. Another little muddy there. Okay guys, this muddy's a long way undersized as you can see. So I'll throw him back. This muddy is well and truly oversized. So at least we have some lunch. And this little muddy here, 
undersize also. So throw him back as well. Alright, this little guy can live to fight another day. Same as this little guy. See you next time, little fella. Bury himself back down in the mud. So as you guys can see here, this is a female mud crab. See the big egg sac there? So I'm actually gonna release her back. You are allowed to keep females in New South Wales. It's kind of frowned upon, but you are allowed to keep them, but I'm gonna let this girl go and Hopefully she breeds for us and then we come back in a couple of months and catch some nice males. So there she goes guys. Bury yourself back down into the mud. So guys, unfortunately today we don't have anything to take home and cook. Two undersized crabs and one female which I just released back into the water. But. We will come back to this spot in a couple of months once it starts to warm up a bit. All the crabs come out of hibernation and hopefully get a couple of big males to cook up. So I'll touch back with you guys soon. See you next time when we're catching some big ones.